at the back, the front and the centre of what I've been trying to do is social justice, is actually saying that health inequalities that are avoidable by reasonable means and are not avoided are unjust. I start from the proposition that poverty is not destiny and that breaking the link between people's social and economic misfortunes and, for example, poor outcomes in early childhood or in education is a place that the charitable sector can get involved. And in community development, more generally, uh, creating healthy and sustainable places to live. Government policy is essential. So it's not as if we can say, well, charities can do all this and government doesn't need to do anything. What we really need is to have local government, central government and the voluntary sector working in concert. But the charitable sector can get involved and make a difference. The first thing that is needed is knowledge and understanding. How can you make a difference as a well-meaning charity? And understanding what can be done if charities are taking action to address the social de determinants of health and hence reduce these avoidable health inequalities, they are working in the cause of social justice. And I think that's helpful to know every day when you get up that you're trying to make the world a more just place.